Diamonds are forever. Is it the truth, or is it just a lie that the bear wants you to believe? Chemically speaking, diamonds are carbon atoms that are arranged in a tetrahedral shape formation. The network covalent bonding is one of the strongest chemical bonds in existence. But is diamond completely inert? In today's experiment, we are about to find out how chemical resistant diamond really is against various acids that are commonly found in a lab. And、uh, by the way, I have proven the authenticity of this diamond in one of my previous video. In case you have any question regarding to its legitimacy, link in the description. Okay, without further ado, let's start off with 30% hydrochloric acid. As I expected, the hydrochloric acid doesn't seem to do much to a diamond.、Uh, and just for the comparison purpose, I'm gonna drop in a piece of aluminium just to show you that I put in the real deal. Aluminium violently reacts with hydrogen chloride to form aluminium chloride and hydrogen gas, as you see here. Now let's take the diamond out of the vial and see if any damage is done. And、uh, it is as good as new. Well, if you think about it, it's not that surprising. After all, who in the right mind will pay thousands of dollars for a piece of rock that can be washed off by a toilet cleaner? Now we know hydrochloric acid doesn't do anything to a diamond, so let's try something different. Here I have 68% azeotropic nitric acid. See if it does anything. FYI, high quality nitric acid should be completely colorless. Mine's was a little yellowish due to the slight contamination of nitrogen dioxide during the production, but it should not affect the result in any way. Again, just for comparison purpose, I'm going to drop in a piece of copper. Copper violently reacts with nitric acid to form cupric nitrate and nitrogen dioxide, which is the brownish gas as you see here. After four minutes of intense reaction, the piece of copper was nowhere to be found. Okay, let's see how the diamond is holding up. It seems that the diamond is doing just fine. Okay, now we know neither can nitric acid inflict any damage to a diamond. So what about alkaloidia? Okay, for those who don't know what alkaloidia is, I'm just gonna briefly explain it. Alkaloidia is a mixture between nitric acid and hydrochloric acid. It is well known for being able to dissolve noble metals such as gold and platinum. In order to demonstrate how different alkaloidia is from its individual component, I'm gonna throw in a piece of gold leaf. And as you can see, hydrochloric acid alone is incapable of dissolving gold. Not until I add a few drops of nitric acid. Soon there are bubbles that appear on the surface of gold, and the solution is gradually turning yellow. Basically, the gold is reacting with hydrochloric acid and nitric acid to make a chloric acid, along with water and nitrogen monoxide. Well, what is actually happening is way more complicated than just this, but I'm not gonna go into too much detail in this video. That is topic for another day. But don't worry, I have already done the project of dissolving a gold bar in acid. It will be up. It's just a matter of time. Please stay tuned. Anyway, that was a little of the topic. The gold leaf is pretty much gone at this point, and let's see how the diamond is doing. Not that I'm surprised, but the diamond is still in a perfect shape. Okay, now it's the time to step up the game. This is 98% sulfuric acid, the strongest acid I here possess. If this doesn't make a dent on the diamond, I seriously don't know what else will. And、uh, I guess I will have to give up at that point. Again, for the sake of comparison, I throw in some glucose. Sulfuric acid is a strong dehydrating agent. The hydroxyl group are ripped off from the glucose molecule and form elemental carbon and water. 
Okay, this might not be obvious, but if you watch carefully, you can see there are light distortions. This phenomenon is caused by mixing two liquids with different refractive index. In this case, it's obviously the mixing between sulfuric acid and water. Since I was doing this in winter, it might take a while for the glucose to have any significant changes. To speed things up, I added a few drops of 30% hydrogen peroxide. Essentially, I was making a famous mixture known as Piranha Solution. Hydrogen peroxide grants the mixture an insane oxidation power. It oxidizes the carbon to carbon dioxide. Okay, here's the thing. At the time that I was doing the experiment, I thought the carbon around the diamond was just the carbon from the glucose that hadn't been fully oxidized to carbon dioxide. And I stopped the experiment. But when I was editing this video, I realized that was not what I thought. Okay, let's go back a little and play it at a real time speed. As I added in the hydrogen peroxide, the reaction took off almost instantaneously. At this stage, all of the glucose molecules have been carbonized. As I gradually add in the hydrogen peroxide, the solution starts to clear up. Okay, at this point I guess you are all wondering what is going on with the diamond. Let me stop you right about here. As you can see, all the black carbon from the glucose is gone at this stage. Okay, let's go back to watch the video. The carbon magically reappears. Although I'm not 100% sure what exactly is going on at the molecular level, what I can see the diamond is definitely reacting with the acid mixture. Apparently this is the first footage ever recorded of a diamond reacting with oxygen at a low temperature. Conventionally, diamond only reacts with oxygen under extreme high temperature. So I guess I've just discovered a brand new method to destroy a diamond. Not that it has any useful applications. And of course, it's science that I'm doing here. More experiments need to be done to confirm my discovery. In the name of science, I will bring this diamond to justice. And you can click subscribe to see the justice being served. A big thank you goes to all my supporters on Patreon. Everyone support me on Patreon, get to see my video 24 hours before I put it on YouTube. Anyone support me with $3 or more will have their name listed as you see here. I really appreciate any of your support.